Well, as you can see, we're in Glasgow at the World Championships, the Emirates Arena. And it's day one. And what an epic mixed doubles opener we just witnessed running the bar. Audrey Fontaine coming through 27-25 in the third. We've got men's singles up next for you. The number eight seed, Srikanth Kidambi. Sergei Sirant, his opponent from Russia. And just so you're all aware at home, we will continue coverage throughout the day. Another six matches at least for you later on. So don't go away after this men's singles. And what a section of the draw this is going to be. Srikanth Kidambi, the favourite to come through this match. But look at that, we've got Anders Antonsen. We've got Tommy Sugiato. We've got Hu Yun. All within touching distance. Rounds two, rounds three are going to be very, very tough indeed. So the number eight seed, the highest seeded or highest ranked Indian men's singles player, Srikanth Kidambi. And he's up against a relative unknown in Sergei Sirant from Russia. Let's see what happens with the toss of the coin. So, Sergei Siran from Russia wins the toss. He elects to serve. Of course, you can choose to serve, you can choose to receive serve, or you can choose your choice of ends. Once he's made the decision to serve, it's Kidambi's choice over the end. He's chosen the bottom of our screens nearest us. Srikanth Kidambi then, the 24-year-old from Ravalapalem, India. Currently ranked number eight in the world. Former world top three player, August 2015. Somewhere around the last World Championships, in fact. He was up there at number three in the world. One of my favourite players to watch on a singles court, Kidambi Srikanth. Such a fierce attacking. Today he's up against this man from Russia, Sergei Sirant, the 23-year-old from Vladivostok. Pretty much up at his career high, 71 at the moment. He won the Russian Open Grand Prix not too long ago, a month or two. Ready to play. Overcoming Vladimir Malkov in a five games to 11 format. Our umpire Kelly Hoare from Australia. Service judge Barry McNabb back on court one to oversee proceedings here. I don't know about uh, you, Steen, but I've never met this Russian before. Ladies and gentlemen, um, on my right, Kedambi Shukan, in, um, India. In Europeans. And on my left, Sergei Sarant, Russia. Sergei Sarant to serve. Love all. Play. Uh, so the uh, European Team Championships, very... Powerful attacking players. Um, Service over. Got a glimpse of there. One love. Yeah, he looks 
tall. He looks strong. He's got the physique for it, for sure. But um, most of all, this is um, was a chance for us to see how Shrikhand is looking must Service come into over. this uh, tournament as one, one of the favourites after his victories in um, in Australia Super Series and Indonesia Premier. Um, and add to that the uh, uh, runner-up spot in uh, Singapore Open. Then he's, um, he's definitely over. informed player of the Two, moment. I one. wouldn't necessarily see him as a top favourite because I think both Chen Long uh, and Li Chong Wei have prepared well for this uh, tournament. But, but definitely um, Three, one of the one. top challenges um, for the title. In, um, what kind of start is he going to get off to? That that's going to be really interesting. And how how will he do it? Will he continue that impressive form that he showed in Four, both one. Jakarta and, uh, and Sydney? Yeah, absolutely. He's had some tremendous results recently, Five, that's for sure. And he's coming one. back to form, no doubt. If he's going to get there, Steen, he's got a tough job in the early stages. After this match, there are some pretty strong opponents up ahead of him. Just in rounds two and three. And a great round the head. Reverse slice from the left-handed Sergei Sirant. Not just powerful, but it looks like he's got some skill as well. One. Poor judgment, however, that one just landing plumb on the line. What a straight smash. Service over. Two. Claudia Meyer six. over. The Russian coach. Service over. Seven, two. Very experienced. Former Polish coach. Up, yeah, great deception at the net. Great touch as well from Srikanth. Service over. Eight, three. Oh. <laughs> Service over. Four. Exchanging. Eight. Good shots. Very nice deception. Absolutely right. That's on the line. I have a feeling that he looks a little Five, bit nervous. Um, eight. Shrikant and and uh, I mean, who can blame him? He's played so well and. This is, Six, this is perhaps eight. not so um, favourable a position because Sirat, he really has got the attack to um, to challenge uh, Srikant. Yeah, absolutely. Srikant's going to have to try to stay on the attack himself and keep this big Russian away from those smashes. Service over. Nine, six. Good shot. Ten, yeah, well played, six. straight smash. Sergei was there in defence, but it was the accuracy of the smash. Just a couple of inches within that sideline. 
Scout. 11 6, interval. Well, not exactly a nervy start, but Srikanth certainly doing enough, particularly winning battles at the net to give himself that lead at the mid game interval. 11 6 in front. So game one, 11 6. 12 6. Round one at the World Championships. What a moment for Sergei Sirant. Sirant made weekend performances at a number of international challenges Steam, but I think really it was that Russian Open result against Vladimir Malkov that elevated himself, giving him enough ranking points to earn a place here. I don't know how strong men's singles is in Russia. I don't suppose you've looked into it too much. Yeah, it seems like Surand and Malkov are the, the two best, and I think Surand is... Um, over. Perhaps the one that 13, can go seven. further than uh, we've seen Malko for a couple of years, so definitely that attack is something that you'd like to um, build on if you can. 14, seven. There's Mulio Handoyo at the left, the uh, Indonesian men's singles coach, now working for India. Former coach of uh, Olympic and world champion Taufik Hidayat. Oh, what was that? That looked like a left ankle he just went over on 15, a hope he's okay seven. yeah yes seems Mop like it just rolled his yeah. foot as he landed it's a good sign that he sort of rolled over because that um, indicates that you didn't get all your weight down on um, on a bad ankle 15 Seven. He's taking control over the tight net so game. Shrikan getting the lifts, Eight, and uh, I think soon he should uh, be able to settle in and control, well, not control, but but play with the kind of nerves that there must be. Nine, that is 15. a big smash the Russian has. Good job too that Srikanth is so competent at the net. Taking the shuttle early with that tight spin so that he can get the lift. I, don't, I wouldn't want to be defending Service against this over. Russian. 16-9. That being said, I wouldn't want to be defending against Rickant either. No. Service over. 10 16. Comfortable lead. Oh. And Service for court. What? Service over. Racket not pointing 17, in the downwards direction. 10. Call. It was a close call, yes. I'm always a little bit suspicious of those not pointing in a downwards direction calls, but um, service over. I think 11, sometimes the umpires, uh, the service judges, tend to uh, judge on the way the racket finishes than where the racket really 
strikes the shuttle. Yeah. Yeah. 12, 17. Wow, what a smash. Yeah, there's a challenge. Sergey challenges called in. Good choice to challenge for me. I think that one landed on the line, but um, I think that's his favorite smash, Rick Anthony. He's so good around the head. You can see him hit cross smash or straight smash from that position, and you can barely see any difference. Oh, just in, just caught the line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 18 12. Nineteen twelve. Yeah, cheap point for Srikanth. Error in defence. It seems Sergei Sirant is much more, much happier in attack. Well, great footwork after that push at the net. Twenty game point. Twelve. Service over, 13, 20. Well, what a cross, game. forehand net shot from Srikanth. First game won by Kadambi Srikanth, 21, 13. Very much a style of play type decision Srikanth's making because this Russian's attack is fierce. Srikanth is owning the net so that he can stay on top of the rallies and attack from the rear of the court, and it's working well for him. 21-13, the opening game. Seconds, court one, twenty seconds. So Kadambi Srikanth back on good form. Second game. Level. So many recent high profile Play. tournaments going his way. And a great time to see him make that kind of form. Seeing he was looking good in the Rio Olympics last summer. A tough draw. He, One, he beat Yanni Jorgensen 19 and 19, I think it was. Yeah. Before that quarter final against Lin Dan. He was so close. 21 18 in the third to Lin Dan. In many ways, um, a quite Service natural over. development from One when all. he won this uh, China Open. Um, um, same year as Sina won it. And, and sort of emerged as a men's single star, um, mainly due to his 
extremely strong uh, attacking qualities, net game and so on. Two, uh, one. He, he was certainly not flying under the radar anymore. He was the focus of attention. He was the focus of um, video analysis. He should um, cope with um, stardom in, 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 uh, in India. And um, that takes time and, and you have to learn to prioritize to uh, say no to a number of invitations because everybody wants a piece of you. And um, so you also have to develop your game because all the opponents have been aware oh. of uh, how you're playing and trying to take countermeasures. And you have to, um, it, it takes time. So in many ways, it's a, it's, a, it's a logical development that he's been through. And I also think that it's been helped by, um, by um, the employment of Mulio Handoyo, not, not to take anything away from uh, uh, Gopichan, who is the overall national coach. Here we see Mulio Handoyo to the left. But here he is, keeping an eye on Three, the two. court next to him because the winners will play each other. Um, but because it's, it's sometimes nice to have new input, if you've been with a coach for 10 years or something like that, sometimes you need someone else to, who can give you some extra inputs about your game. And um, yeah, India is at the moment, uh, since the Olympics, Four, pretty two. much India has been dominating uh, men's singles. Uh, so looking so much forward to follow um, Srikant further on in this tournament, provided that he can get past uh, Sergei Shrikan, uh, Sergei <laughs> Sirant. Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, Srikant's still just 24 years of age and it seemed like Five, he appeared on two. the scene at that top level so quickly. He came from nowhere almost to top five in the world within a year or 18 months. And it's no surprise really that that stardom you mentioned, Steen, and that fame he suddenly got in India and around the world takes some adjusting to. Six, two. Yeah, well left Srikant serving at six, two in the second after a great opening game for him. Seven, two. Shuttle, okay. change. Well, well played, Sergei Sirant. Service over. Three, seven. Both very athletic players. Srikanth opting for a lot of more variety than the opening game when he is forced to defend. Using the width of the court and using a few more mid-court pushes over. like a double shot almost just to Eight, three. stretch your opponent without giving away the lift. Great hold at the net from Srikanth, great deception. Nine, three. Oh, what a net shot from Sirant. that was something that they apparently had discussed in training. Swinging a little bit too big at it. Good accuracy Five, on the left. Nine. Deep into that backhand corner from Sirant.
Service over. 10-5. Eleven five interval. Well, nice disguise on the forehand slice drop shot from Srikanth, and much like the opening game, eleven five in front at the mid game interval. Moving, moving also good. Just keep focus. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. 11-5. Play. Service over. The return of serve from Six, Sergei 11. Sirant, just forcing Kidambi very late in that backhand corner. That's a great shot from uh, Shrikant there. 12 6. Always amazes me, Srikant's technique. He not only has quite a lot of power, but it's the accuracy he has, but also the Disguise, you don't know which tram line he's going to be aiming at. Yeah. So hard to read. His body pointing in a different direction as well, so that makes it difficult to, to judge the shot. Yeah, confident leave. too clever on that one uh, Shrikant but he's in Seven, a good place right 13. now because uh, he's been challenged in his defense with by um, by Sirant and uh, he's also come through he's going to come through no doubt about it um, so he's been challenged he's been um, thank you he's been pushed a little bit here even in the first round but has not been in any kind of uh, problems so um, looks good for at least one of the favorites. Absolutely, it's growing in confidence, you can see, and it's a good test for him, I'd say, to feel what it's like to have that kind of fierce attacking against you, especially in round one, but knowing that you should have enough to get through it. 8-13. It'll put him in good stead for the following couple of rounds. There's some tough opposition in that side of the draw with Tommy Sugiato, with Hu Yun, with potentially Anders Antonsen, who might come through. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> a always, lot can happen in these first server. rounds. I always do. I get Four, far too excited. Eight. Well, a good battle at the server, net. This server. time won by Sergei Sirant. Oh, there's that smash once more. 16, Cross nine. court, played to perfection. It wasn't so much the power, but the precision, the accuracy to find that tram line across the court. 
He almost makes it look so easy, Kadambi Srikanth. Feeling some pressure now, Sergei Sirant. I think the writing's on the wall. But a good straight smash, playing with confidence still. Service over. 10 18. And why not at this stage? He's got nothing to lose. That was awfully close. Yeah. Yeah. Could have taken a challenge, um, Shrikant, but um, still a comfortable lead. Well, a lovely bit of skill. He could have played straight net, Service he could have played lift down the line. 19, 10. He made it look like both whilst playing across court. That was one of the shots that he missed earlier, but this time he just guided it um, cross court. And yeah. it's always nice when you try shots again and they start working. Sergei gambled on the net spin from Strickland. That didn't come. Clever play to mix things up. Oh, but the cross court forehand. Service over. Just didn't find the line. 11 19. Strickland's beginning to have a little fun out there, and why not? This man still well 12, in some of these 19. rallies, enjoying himself. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's not going to play tomorrow. Shrika Shri doesn't either because there's a day's rest in between, but this is going to be uh, Siran's last match at this um, World Championship, so why not give everything? Well, that was ambitious, very late. Service over. In the forehand rear corner. 20 match point. 12. Kadambi Srikanth serving with eight match points. Game. And he just needs the one. Well, it was a confident start to the match by okay. Sergei Sirans, but the quality, the class of Kidambi Srikanth shines okay. through. He progresses through match to round two in Kidambi the men's Shikan. singles. 21. Well, you heard it there, the confirmation of that scoreline then. 21-13, 21-12, we'll see Kidambi Srikanth back in round two. Before we take a quick look at some of the highlights of that match, don't go away, everybody. We've got plenty more badminton for you here today. So stay tuned for a lot more World Championships action. Of course, Shrikant's get out there looking very impressive, and of course, he is one of the pre tournament favorites. What a great start for the Indian number one player! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So with six matches completed so far on day one, a time for us to just look back over those six before we embark on another six matches. The city of Glasgow, not the capital, but of course the largest city in Scotland. And for a second time, it is Scotland that hosts the prestigious World Badminton Championships. The fans have been pouring in all day and this is badminton at its very, very best. Well, uh, we're starting uh, this afternoon's evening session with uh, four uh, singles that involve left-handers. We've got the world number one, Song Wan Ho of Korea in his opening match. And then we've got a women's singles and Maniki, which is a very famous name in world badminton up against Kate Fu Koon. Then we've got the left-handed Tanon Sat Sin Sung Boon Sak, the number 11 seed. And then the match so many of the fans have come to see, the five-time former champion, Lin Dan of China up against the Scottish number one, Kieran Merrilies. After that, we have Tommy Sugiato, who was bronze medalist at the World Championships in 2014. And then Rajiv Yusuf, the English number one, who happens to be the European champion. So, so much action to come still here at the Total BWF World Championships. So as far as the next match is concerned, the world number one, Song Wan Ho, is up against the left-handed uh, Kale Kulyanen of Finland. World number one, of course, Song Wan Ho trying to make history here at the World Championships in Glasgow. He is the number one seed, as you can see, so this is obviously the top section of the draw. And day one of the championships, of course, means that it is first round action. In fact, we will be seeing Tanon Sak Sing Tsung Boon Sak, the number 11 seed there, a little later on. So Sung Wan Ho is hoping to become the first ever world champion from Korea in any of the singles disciplines. Of course, Korea have dominated and really thrived in the three doubles disciplines, but never 
have they won gold in either the men's or women's singles? Of course, they've had a couple of silver medalists in both those disciplines, but never a gold. Well, sitting alongside me is former head coach to the Danish national team, Lars Ua. And uh, Lars, uh, I mean, I don't know whether you think that he's overwhelming favourite. Of course, there's a lot of sentimental support behind Lee Chong-Wei. He's been in four finals, never won the final. Lin Dan is the most incredible athlete the sport has ever seen. We'll be seeing him later. But this man, well... I'm going to come back to you in a minute because he's 29 years of age. He is world number one, enjoying his 12th week at the top of the world rankings. So highest ranking, obviously, is not four, and he's currently number one. And Storm Wan Ho is playing in his sixth world championships. And the third consecutive time that he's been seeded, he was quarter-finalist in Copenhagen three years ago and as the number nine seed at the last World Championships lost in the round of last 16. Now as far as uh, Kale Kuyulan is concerned, the left-hander born in Helsinki, he has been as high as 69 one week last month so he's just down from that and I had the absolute pleasure of chatting to him a couple of hours ago when he was on the warm-up courts and he's very excited about the opportunity to play against the world number one. He seems quite a character Lars, I mean he was saying uh, I'm an aggressive player, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to give it all. Yeah and he, he told me that he's, he's, uh, he knows that uh, Sun Man Ho is, is uh, very strong in all areas but uh, he wanted to try to give it a shot at his, his normal game and, and maybe even more aggressive than, than he normally plays. Well, what an opportunity on the big stage for Kale Coleman. Of course we've had uh, players as we're looking at our court officials, we've had players uh, from Finland in the men's singles, regulars on the world tour. I'm thinking, of course, of players like uh, Villa Lang and Pontus Yanti. And the man who reached the world 16 of the world championships back in 1995, Robert Lilliquist. You, of course, remember him playing. I'm sure you play. Remember him well? You probably coached against him, did you? Uh, no, that was a, a little bit before my time, but but I know Robert uh, quite well from uh, from my years uh, working with the Finnish team. So uh, so yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yes, as well as a former coach in Finland, we're going to be asking you all the inside scoop. Okay.